Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Sorry that the background is different. My room is just too much of a mess to actually go around trying to fix it. And the natural lighting is going and I can't have it leaving. Um, the reason I'm filming a video on a Tuesday is because I was meant to do one Sunday to end my week of filming. But I was sick on Sunday and I really wasn't feeling well. So I didn't do it and I was going to do one yesterday but I had no makeup on. <laughs> the struggle is real so I'm doing one now. Today I'm out of breath again, oh my goodness. And yeah, I yeah, I just I loved filming for the week. It just made me feel really positive and motivated. So why am I out of breath? <laughs> okay, um, today I'm going to be talking about peer pressure. Um, again, I have, I have my laptop here because... I just I ramble and I ramble. If you've watched any of if you've watched any of my videos, you probably know that I just ramble a lot. So in order to keep me on track, I have a list of things that bullet points that will help me stay on track. So we're gonna go straight into it. So the reason I want to talk about pre peer pressure is because I know that it's really common and I think it deserves to be talked about. So firstly, the definition of peer pressure. So the it is the influence of positive or negative things from a member of someone's friend group. So basically somebody in your friend who's trying to, oh my God, I'm so unfit. Who's, who's trying to make you to do, make you, make you do either positive things like study or negative things like take drugs and stuff. So positive peer pressure. So this can be your friends influence you to study or to make the right decisions. So basically what I mean by this is basically if you see that your group of friends is studying a lot, and they want to do really well in their exams, you're probably going to try and do the same thing. And you are going to want to do well in your exams as well. Similarly with this, uh, negative peer pressure is pressure to drink alcohol, smoke, mock someone, take drugs, lose your virginity, have sex, or get into a relationship. Now, I was a little bit, not going to lie, I was a little bit nervous about putting sex and virginity in here because talking about that, I just feel a bit nervous, but I mean... I mean, it happens. So if your friends are doing any of those things and they're trying to push you to do it, it can kind of seem like you have to do it because your friends are doing it. But you have to remember that if you know that you don't want to do that thing that you're being pressured to do, stand by your opinion and don't do it regardless of being called names afterwards. Because if you know that the thing that they're trying to make you to do for, say, take drugs isn't right, don't do it. It's only going to make you feel bad afterwards and it's going against all of your morals and all of what you stand for. And yeah, I just, again, if, you know, people try to get other people to do things because they think it's cool. I don't know if you heard that, but yeah. And yeah. So, um... How to deal with peer pressure. Okay, so if you're in a situation where somebody is kind of pressuring you to do the thing that you don't want to do, let's say take drugs, all you've got to do is just stand up for yourself and say no, that you're not interested. They should get the hint. If you say that you're not interested in it, just say no, I'm good, thanks. Um, another way that I would probably do is change the subject. Um, by changing the subject, you're kind of distracting them. And it, that gives you a chance to think of what you're going to say if they ask you again. And it gives you a chance to just try and escape the situation. However, and it, oh, also, it can give them the hint that you don't want to do it. So if they, by changing the subject, they'll be like, oh, maybe they don't want to do it. And they might take the hint. And if that doesn't work, make an, an excuse and leave. I know that sounds kind of... You could say that's a bit cowardly, but if they're doing something, if they're forcing you to do something that you don't want to do, leave. There's absolutely nothing wrong in it. I don't, I mean, just say that your mother called and you have to go home or it's getting late and things like that. Um, also, I would say that no always means no. And if someone has said no once, they shouldn't have to say it again. I think that stands by everything. If you've said no once, you should not have to say it again. So if you're, you or your friends are trying to get someone to do something, no means no. Okay, I think. So again, it's a bit of a ramble. Um, and for some reason, my my I'm out of breath because before I filmed this video, I just started moving things everywhere and I was doing it really quickly because 
it's you know it's getting late and i want the lighting to be good but yeah i hope that this video helped and always stand up for yourself always stay true to who you are and don't let anyone try and get you to do something that you do not feel comfortable with right so next friday or saturday my i am doing the never have i ever with my twin sister and if you want to leave some questions that you'd, you'd like us to um to uh answer please i mean like not answer just to react to please leave them below or you can follow my social medias and let me know there thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this as always give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and give me some some ideas to film and yeah i've loved filming for the week i just think it's it's just made me feel more positive about my channel and i will see you next i'll see you on friday bye